Hey guys, Tony here from Barla Roots. Just wanted to do a quick video. Uh, finally got some nice weather here on the homestead. It's been raining. I think we had like 10 straight days of clouds and a bunch of rain, but we've got some sunshine now, so it's, it's really nice out today. Uh, in the past, as we've raised our animals, pigs, um, for the most part, we've used temporary uh, electric fencing. So we could pull it in and out, we could move it around. Um, which was really nice, but in over the past few years I've felt a desire to want to get a more permanent fence up uh, for the security of our animals and also to expand to possibly raising other animals. Uh, goats, sheep are on our wish list, so this, uh, what we're doing today is hoping, helping us get to that step. So I've been working hard here, I'll show you what I've been doing, getting the, pen, uh, the fence posts in. So we've got, <clears throat> so far, I think I've got eight fence posts in the ground. Um, and I'm just getting them in about four feet deep and then starting to backfill a little bit, get them level. And then we'll come back at another time. <clears throat> we'll come back at another time and, and really level them out and tamp them in really well. Um, so this, down this straightaway heads back up towards the house and um, where our chicken pen is and also with the fencing we're putting in here, I'm hoping to let the chickens roam a little bit more as well. So once we get these posts done and get the bracing done, we'll put four foot high woven wire fence on the posts. And uh, we'll be doing H braces uh, on each end. So this end will have an H brace. There'll be a three inch post that goes across here and a, or a, or a diagonal wire to brace it all together. Um, so the interesting thing is how I'm digging these holes. Um, I was just using the good old-fashioned post hole digger, but had a little um, ingenious idea. So this is my ice auger, <clears throat> old, old, old ice auger, and this bit here has been busted. Um, for some reason it just quit cutting in the ice. I think it was the angle of the blade. Last year I found a replacement bit for a really good price online and I bought it. And so this one's just been sitting in my garage uh, doing nothing really. And I was trying to figure out how I was gonna get rid of it. But it has worked awesome for digging these holes. So I just uh, find the right spot and let that baby rip. It's been a little, our soil really uh, changes. So, and I was way up that way. The soil was more sandy. Uh, I got down like three or four inches of topsoil and then it was sand and that was a piece of cake. But since I've been down here, I've done one, two, three, four poles, posts, and they were clay, all clay. <laughs> it was pretty hard, but <clears throat> this thing will take me down about, uh, I'm taking it down about 36 inches and then using the post hole digger for the rest. So it works out pretty good. Um, so I'm just gonna keep going. I've got about 10, 11 posts left. Challenges here is obviously this is a wooded pasture. I've got some big mature trees that I'm trying to kind of work around. Um, which may or not may not be good, but uh, it's just it's just tough for me as kind of an OCD type of guy. I want nice straight angles, straight lines, and uh, the fencing will be straight. It's going to be as straight as we can get it. Um, but the pasture itself isn't going to be a perfect rectangle. And the lines, the fence lines, don't run east, east and west, and north and south. And I'm just having to come having to come to terms with that. Uh, so it'll be just fine. It's, we're working with the space we've got. Once we get this built, it's gonna be absolutely awesome to have our animals in it. And uh, I'm really excited to have it done. So I'm gonna keep drilling holes. I'll try to get a little video here on the end of me using this auger to drill out this hole. It's kind of a, an interesting looking thing. So, uh, but yeah, I'll put that clip on the end. Uh, thanks for watching this video here on Barla Roots and we'll see you guys on the next video.